first of all, uh, Link U is um, is based on uh, use of the BIM model. It means that from a BIM model or from a technical library, we'll, uh, uh, we'll speak about these two uh, sources uh, to be used in the project. Um, Link U assists um, all your customers, such as architect, contractor, design offices, or engineers to create all their technical documentation. Um, from one and unique central technical structure, the link you is able to create all the documentation of the project, such as technical specification, quotation, or quantities. Therefore, our users will earn a lot of time skipping tedious check and they increase their productivity. So it's very useful for them to use LinkQ. So first of all, uh, LinkQ can use two kinds and complementary sources. The first source is tech, oh, sorry, technical library. Um, the technical libraries is all the data, all the knowledge of the agency, and they will be used in the product in the project they can as well use a bim model such as an archicad or a revit model to create i'm sorry my transition is bad here to create a structure the structure is very important in link because from this structure they will be able to create all their documentation such as description lists or notices. This link is very important because if the structure is modified, every documentation will be modified as well. It means that if it's described, it will be in the list, it will be in the notices. And if the notices is changed, every list and description will be updated. So it's very useful for the currency of all documents between them. Of course, uh, LinkQ is linked to the BIM model. So it means that if the model is changed, such as uh, a 3D modification or, um, or an addition of new elements, we will find them directly in the structure and the, all the documentation will be updated. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to explain you every um, every detail about this point. Uh, so we're going to first start with the technical libraries. The technical libraries are very important, as you see in the um, as you see, sorry, in the first picture, um, uh, the first slide. Um, technical libraries are very important and has to be um, located from each country. This is why we need your help on this uh, on this subject. If you don't know anything about technical library, this is not a problem. We can help you to find the, the good uh, local library. And it's very easy for you to integrate uh, this kind of library in LinkQ uh, by using um, a spreadsheet document. It's very easy. Even even though your clients uh, your clients don't have uh, libraries at the beginning, it's not a problem because they can create a project and from this project create a library layer. It's very very easy. After uh, using this library, as you saw in the slide in the picture slide, um, the the clients will create a structure. This structure is the base of everything. It ensures all the document consistency sorry it's hard for me to say it in english um, but it also provides flexibility it means that in the structure you can have options multi-slides or multi-multi multiple building you can have multiple vat or multiple owner it means that for instance i'm an architect i want to describe to describe uh, my project by using my um, my b model and in my BIM model, I have two different buildings. I can use 
and I can describe all these multiple buildings by just creating one study inside and in the study I will have two different buildings. So for my clients, I will be able to give him a quotation of each building and as uh, in the same time, a, quote, a global quotation. It's very useful for them. The structure is based on the on the hierarchy, uh, uh, which is lots, lists, titles, and articles. Uh, on each articles, um, our client, your client, will be able to add quantities. Of course, we have five C floor uh, methods of uh, quantities: uh, manual quantities, uh, BIM link quantities, of course, spreadsheets, and um, um, Calcul a detail, uh, a detail of, uh, of quantities, and the last, uh, they can use their plan to uh, measure directly in the plan to find quantities. And the best part of the structure is the prices of uh, every article. Um, architects will use the library during every project. So from every project, we're going to memorize prices in the library. So for my next project, I will find the average prices of the project. Of course, I can filter uh, the prices uh, in the library and I can uh, analyze the prices to use the good price uh, for the project. The beam link. The beam link is, the, from my point of view, to my point of view, the best part of Link2. Why? Because we are using, a, we are using free plugins for uh, AutoCAD or Revit uh, to uh, analyze everything that is in the in the BIM model. In the BIM model, we have a lot of information, and we're gonna filter the information we need in LinQ to push them in LinQ. And after with this uh, analysis, with this analysis, sorry, I'm gonna find every information that I need to create to create my description of the project. We're gonna link, this is why we name it uh, link you. We're gonna link every uh, element of the B model to articles. So once it links, if the B model is modified, automatically the description and the quantification and the list will be updated. Of course, it's not mandatory to have an ARCHICAD or Revit license to use BIM, uh, the BIM link of LinQ. Uh, uh, your clients can use ARCHICAD or Revit in demo or in viewer mode. It depends on the, of the software. Um, just to open the BIM model and uh, analyze it, analyze them, sorry, in LinQ. Of course, as uh, every uh, BIM software, we can use IFC import using ARCHICAD or Revit. How does it work? It's very easy. I can open the IFC project, the IFC, the IFC file in ARCHICAD and analyze uh, the, the ARCHICAD file created in this way. Um, we can, of course, read the BIM model, but we can, uh, we can also push some information in the BIM model. LinQ won't create any 3D information in the model. LinQ won't be able to create a wall, a slab, or a window. But uh, we can push uh, textual information in the model, such as uh, ID, for instance. We all know uh, BIM Modeler, and uh, BIM Modeler can uh, put a lot of information in the BIM model, but some information are not very interesting for them, such as ID. So they can don't take care about the ID, and we're gonna um, we're gonna push them, we're gonna modify them from LinQ and push them directly in um, in the BIM model. The the last thing uh, about the BIM link is that for ARCHICAD only, we can recover planes into LinQ. What is the aim? Uh, if I want to measure directly on the plan, I can I can measure it directly in LinQ. Uh, using the ARCHICAD uh, plugin. Uh, the, um, of course, the aim of uh, everything in LinQ is to create documentation. So we can create two types of documents. The first, 
type is uh, textual documents, and the second are spreadsheets. Um, of course, we provide uh, multiple uh, layouts. They are all customizable. Um, of course, the client can create their own uh, layout if they need, um, and they can directly work on the on the layout on the document if they need. Uh, to be totally honest, we are creating two the type of documents from the environment, but in fact, we propose to create four type of documents. The first are description, uh, the textual document of the of the project, uh, spreadsheet list, uh, location documents uh, on which we are using, we are using we are using sorry uh, the zone on in Archicad the room. And the room in the rooms in uh, in Revit. Uh, what is the aim of the location document? It's very useful for our clients to um, uh, to describe the everything that is needed in each rooms. So uh, I'm an architect. I need to make my client to validate all the uh, to check all the other things that are going to be built in each uh, room in each space in each space sorry i can use location document and the last uh, notices uh, notices are spreadsheet documents but in which we have the description of the document it could be very useful for our clients of course in notices you can uh, explain if the articles are uh, based on the project or if it's an option for the client and of course if it's an option the price of it uh, so i think it's time for the demonstration now so i'm gonna just up, reduce up, um, uh, google slide uh, up, i'm gonna reduce archicad for now i don't need them and i'm good so on the on the foreground, we have LinkQ. So LinkQ is just a toolbar. I'm gonna to find all the contributors that I want to work with on every project. I won't open it. It's not the, the, the aim of the presentation. I'm gonna open, I'm gonna just show you the, the project list. It's every project on which I have the right to work on my database. All the documentation, the, all the documents that I create on each project. I'm going to show you it uh, later once we create a, uh, a link together. Uh, the libraries, uh, just to show you and to explain how we uh, prepare this uh, presentation, we find Indico, uh, find um, a technical library uh, on the website, and we just download it in an Excel version and we Implant and we import it directly in Linkue. So from this library, I'm going to show you how your clients can create description. So how does it work? I just have to open the study tool. So my study is open on my second screen. So there, there is the first part is the structure of our study. So I have all the loads that I create in the study, but I will delete everything just to show you yeah, how to create everything. So first step, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find some information in the library. How does it work? It's very easy. I just have to click on the Add button. I'm going to find all the loads that I need. For instance, I just want to add these two loads. I can import some information in every lot. So for instance, I'm going to take everything about the concrete load. Of course, if I need to uh, personalize something, I can. For instance, I don't need this article. I can delete it. Of course, it's deleted in the project, but we kept we keep it in the library. We can uh, modify, personalize, sorry, all the information inside, such as um, we have rich text in everything. So we can put uh, up in bold and 
as I want. I can modify it. Uh, I repeat it, but uh, I modified it in the project and it's not modified in the library. If I need, I can um, update the library. We have a tool for that. I can update the information in the library. Um, of course, I'm not so forced to import everything in the project. I can just import the information that I need, such as, for instance, I'm going to find the aluminium terrace door. I just want to find a product. I'm going to take this one, and that's it. And as you can see, all the hierarchy has been recreated, uh, recreate, sorry, in the, in the structure. I'm going to show you directly um, how to create things from the BIM link, from BIM link. How does it work? I just go to the BIM link tab. As you can see, I already um, uh, analyzed the project. We have everything that is in the BIM model. So how did I find all this information in the BIM model? I will show you. As you can see, uh, we have an ARCHICAD model. On my ARCHICAD, I installed a plugin to push all the information in uh, LinkQ. So once it's done, I can just, for instance, I'm gonna try to describe all the all the walls with the covering wood, uh, cover, covering wood, sorry. So I just select one, wood wall, I go back to LinQ and I ask to LinQ to retrieve the information. It's gonna show me the thing that I select in the 3D model. If I need to find all the walls that have that have the same uh, name, I can ask to LinQ to show me the similar thing and it will create a new list. Of course, I can check if I select all the words, I can ask to link you to show me them in the in the BIM model. As you can see, it has been already selected in ARCHICAD and I think it's gonna be great. All the words are selected. So I'm gonna try to describe them. So how does it work? It's very easy. You can just find all the data that are present in each element, of course, you can um, create some filter of this list by just clicking on one of the information. For instance, I want to find all the words that are named the same, the same thing as isolation uh, Sorry, the model has been uh, created in French, so it's a French iteration. Uh, I can just uh, I can just select the this word, and I will ask to link you to find all these walls on the first floor. So now, if I check, I can just describe all the things, all the walls that are on the first floor. But I, I don't want to describe just the, just the first floor, so I'm gonna select, I select all, all that. So um, how do I describe all this wall? It's very easy, I just have to go on the quantities tab. I'm going to select the quantities that I need. Uh, the quantities here are uh, select, um, set, validated, checked from LinQ. It means that in every uh, BIM model, you're going to find a lot of information and users will be able to select the information that are collected by LinQ. Once the um, once the, the quantity uh, is selected, I just have to assign for uh, assign from the library or from the study. If I already import the things, I'm gonna find in the library. And for instance, I'm gonna add the mentionary, the mentionary, the face brick, perfect. So I'm gonna add the face brick. So once it's linked, the color will be changed. Uh, all linked elements are highlighted in uh, green and on the bottom of the um, of the window you're going to find what is linked and of course as you can see i have a new 
load, a luxury load, in which I'm going to find the quantity that are that is linked to the project. So uh, if I just want to check, of course, I have everything linked here. So I just want to verify what is this um, amount. I'm just going to ask to link you to show me in the BIM model and is select. At the beam, uh, the world of the beam model has been selected. So now uh, we have loads, we have article, we have title. From this information, we're gonna create all the documentation. So it's very very easy. As you can see, I just have to select the load. I can create a load for this uh, description. Sorry, a document for this load, um, or I can select all the loads. So I'm gonna maybe go to the all loads and I would select the kind of documents I want to create. So for instance, I want to create a description. I'm gonna just select the layout. So I can, uh, for instance, uh, select uh, this layout. It's gonna be applied and my document is created in a few seconds. So as you can see, I have all information Coming from the structure in the in the in the description, I can directly work on it. So, for instance, up, I want to just check the article. Okay, maybe up. Okay, I'm just gonna modify it just to show you. I can modify it directly, and once it's done, it's already displayed in the document. And of course. The, modif the modification has been done in the structure. So I already have the environment article and the description that I modified directly. So now, how can I create this document? Just by clicking on this button, I have to uh, click on the selection button and I can create two kinds of documents. I can create an editable document, which is gonna be a textual document modifying uh, that can be modified by uh, LinkCube or a PDF document. I'm going to generate it. In the same time, I'm going to generate the list. So this is a spreadsheet. As the um, as the the description, I can uh, personalize my um, my spreadsheet. So I'm just going to create the documents and in PDF or in editable documents as well. It's going to be a spreadsheet that will be able to be that will be modified sorry by uh, link you and i can generate it so once the documents uh, are generated okay i'm going to just show you directly the document tool uh, i'm going to keep it open to sh to show you another stuff after uh, so I, I want to see the description that i create i just create this kind of document, this document, I can open it and show everything that is done inside. And I can create, I can check the, the list that is created by the structure. I just want to show you another stuff before, another thing, sorry, before uh, going to it. As you can see, everything I linked, I linked them I link them manually, but we have a magical tool which is named rules. I will be able to apply rules. I'm just going to apply the rules and rules going to create all the thing automatically by linking them uh, from, my previous, from my previous project. It's very useful for your clients. It means that, for instance, if the architect use a uh, favorite tool in AutoCAD, uh, by modeling uh, walls every time or with the same tools, we're going to be able to find all the information inside and to link them automatically to article and so create all the documentation directly. It means the BIM rules is very useful and it's available for AutoCAD and for Revit, of course. So now I have finished the presentation with ArchiCAD. I'm going to show you exactly, ex, sorry, 
exactly the same for Reddit. So I'm going to open a new project, another project there. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, oh, sorry. I am, no, I'm good. Okay. So this is exactly the same, uh, the same window, but the only thing is that the, um, my study is linked to a Reddit project. So Revit is not available for Mac, but we don't have any problem with it. I have a Revit, I have a PC uh, in my office, and I have a Revit on it. So as you can see, I just used a simple project in Revit. And if I need to describe the project in Revit, I can make anything that I did in ArchiCAD. So I can select it one thing, for instance, the walls, the walls. I can ask to link you to retrieve the walls. I can ask to link you to retrieve all the similar walls to show me all this kind of walls. As you can see, I have everything, uh, every kind of wall that uh, is um, um, available, sorry, in the project. And if I need to link uh, this information, I just have to find the, the information that I need and go to a sign and assign from the library or from the study. I will assign from the library and here we go. Now it's linked. I have all the information and I have all the all the articles that are based on the link on the bin. So I almost finished my presentation. I just want to show you um, the installation slide. Uh, so we have two, uh, we have one version of LinQ, but uh, the version is available or for Windows or for Mac OS. Uh, all the presentation that I did was, was based on a Mac, but the applica applications, sorry, are the same uh, for Windows or for Mac. It means that, for instance, if one of your clients uh, wants to use his LinQ on both environments on both OS, they can. 